this figure of Vadivia has a really flat S. Hello, I'm Steven from X Kurgane Blog and Photography, and today I'll be giving this square figure right here a quick mini review. This is Sega's Vadivia from the Fate Grand Order franchise. And this specific price figure here is based on the Camelot Agetra movie, which was not very spectacular, unfortunately. Hello, I'm Steven from X Kurgane Blog and Photography, and I'll be giving this figure right here a quick review today, a mini review. This is Sega's Bedivere from the Fate Grand Order franchise. Specifically, this one was based on the Camelot Agitra movie, which unfortunately wasn't really spectacular. Now, figure companies like Furio or Taito, they have been making noodle stopper figures for quite some time. These are tiny price figures with a sitting pose and well, even though they are called noodle stopper figures, they are, meant, they are not meant to be placed on noodles, of course. But they do not come with a base. You need to place them somewhere, maybe on top of your desktop computer, your bookshelf, or maybe miniature furnitures. Anything you can think of because these things do not come in with a base. Now, I paid 50 Malaysian Ringgit for this figure, which is a bot. 1200 Japanese yen or 12 US dollars, which I think is fair, but I would not pay 80 ringgit, 20 US dollars, 2000 yen for this thing. Make sure you do not pay too much for this price figure because the details on this one is quite on the lacking side and most importantly, it is very small. As you can see from head to toe, this thing is about 12 centimeters, which falls into the 1 by 12, 1 by 10 scale range. Now, 1 by 12 scale would be Figma size, so you have an idea how small this thing is, which is why the camera is so zoomed in, unlike my usual figure review, figure reviews. When I said the details are lacking, that is especially true for the face, because depending on the light you shine on this figure, like the lights are used, this figure's face will look rather different from the right, from the left, from above, from below because the sculpt of this figure, the details parts are very lacking. There is also no shading on the paintwork. So it is dependent on the shadows created by light in order for you to be able to see the face properly. The shadows will determine the shape of the nose and the mouth, which is the case with this figure. So let's say you're doing photography and then your light sources are very even, then you will even have trouble being able to see the nose and the mouth of this figure in the photographs. Do not end up paying too much for this price figure. Even 2000 yen, 80 Malaysian ringgit is too much because the levels of detail of this price figure is at its absolute lowest level, even by the standards of a price figure. And maybe partly due to the size. So I don't know why they did not make this thing bigger because Furio has made this Yang Weifei figure much bigger than what Sega did with this Bedivere. And also their Sanjang, which I will review next. So you see, if Sega made this thing a lot larger, then probably this figure might be a lot better than what we are looking at over here. The paint job is standard press figure level. Even his armor looks fairly plasticky, matte grey. And the black seam lines that separate the armor parts, they are kind of uneven. But this kind of uneven seam lines, they are standard in press figures. So I will not criticize it for this specific issue. But otherwise, the take home message is once again, this is a rather lower quality price figure. Yeah. Should you get one if you like Bedivere and you do not have the money to buy any Plex version, the skill figure, then maybe you can pick up one of these. But if $12 is still a lot of money to you, then I would suggest just skipping this figure altogether. Is this a recommended purchase? I would say no, unless $12 is not really important or huge sum of money to you. It is subjective, right? So this concludes my mini review of this figure. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. 
Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again. Goodbye.